Hi y'all, welcome back to <laughs> Ivy's Family Fact Totem Daily Scuttlebutt. Yeah. Morning y'all, welcome back to the Daily Scuttlebutt. As she said, I don't know if you could hear her or not, because I'm outside. What are we doing? I know, guess what my husband did today. Got himself stuck. <laughs> Found out right quick, four wheel drive and mom's truck don't work, so. Hopefully we're, we're, <laughs> Reliable here, can yeah. So we're we're gonna bring down old Binky Boy and and see if we can get both the, of them stuck. I thought it was the green machine, but it's not a machine today. <laughs> so if, if we can't work this out, then we're gonna call up to the, to the neighbor and say, "Hey, can we use the tractor?" But we're gonna go ahead and bring y'all along. So let's see if uh, I'm gonna be cursing or not. Let me get up here in the truck. Ugh. And half my windshield's still covered. I can't even see. All right. All right. Get y'all situated. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right. Give it the, the old thumbs up. Let's see if we can go. We're pulling. Not gonna work. We need the tractor. <laughs> it's too heavy. Too heavy. No. Gonna give her a buzz, see if we can bring the tractor down. Please and thank you. you no, the truck's in four wheel drive, but it doesn't work. You were already in four wheel drive. Low is better than high love. It's low gear. And you still weren't doing nothing. You were digging in. That's why I got you to stop. Womp womp womp. Because I'm not trying to get us both stuck. So we'll get the tractor over here. The tractor will pull it out quick and snappy. Sure. Yep. Yeah. I'm positive. Sure. Yeah, someone has to stop their, their music. <clears throat> but let me let me kind of get you guys. I'll show you what basically what happened. So so I was up there where the other trailer is. So where the small trailer is over there, I was coming up and around, coming up and around, you can kind of see what happened. Coming up and around, coming up and around, coming up and around, and then I got to right here. And at this point is when it all went south. <laughs> I started sliding sideways. I got all the way around and you can see now I was facing in that direction. It's not gonna go up, so this is a pretty steep hill. So I just tried to get myself down to the flat. But this down here is an area that does hold water. The creek itself is more that way, and then there's another creek over in the trees. But this area does hold water, and once I got to there, nope, it wasn't doing nothing. So, especially with the four wheel drive not working. But anyway. Kids are out playing in the snow. We're out of power. We don't have power. And uh, we're gonna run to town because I still need propane for the RV because we've never done that yet because we haven't been living in the trailer. It's, it's just been like a, a storage. Not even really like a storage unit. But we haven't been sleeping in there because we've had the house to stay in. 
But right now, we're no power, and almost everything in that house is power to include the well. So we don't have water. The heat, which is electric, and basically everything else, the stove, the range, all that stuff is all electric. So hot water heater, electric. All those things are electric. Well, the RV, it, I can uh, run that off of a generator. So we have to go to the property to get the generator because that's where that is at. And then um, we have to go into town to get propane because I've never filled up the propane tanks yet. So yeah, there we go. We have to go get some gas because the generator is completely full of gasoline. So I know that will get me through a day. And then we can grab another full full can of gas and that will get me through at least another day. Cause this snow's not gonna stick around that long because it, I mean, it's already melting now. And uh, I think we do have some rain. I mean, you can see just super, super overcast nasty and it's just that was really really wet heavy snow like we've even heard trees fall down i mean branches have fell down like you can see i, I can show you an example i don't know if you can see there's a branch right there that fell out of a tree and just crazy crazy and uh some big trees just knocking down just all this super super wet snow but yeah so we're going to transition over to the rv but before we can do that you know we have to go get uh, just a few supplies you know we're going to grab some water because we can fill up the the tank the the fresh water tank on the rv that way we will have some some water uh, we also have you know one of those little hand pumped uh, water dispensers normally that has a five gallon and we normally just get that water from Walmart. It's like 39 cents a gallon, right? So you buy the five, like we, we spend like seven bucks and we fill up four tanks, so. But anyway, uh, our friends are coming down with the tractor. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get off the camera. I'm not gonna worry about uh, filming that. Uh, Cause you know, I, I like to respect their privacy too. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get off of here. We're gonna get this truck pulled out. And then we're going to head over to the property. So I definitely appreciate you guys for following the journey. And just know that we're going to be all right. We'll be fine. Uh, we're going to still try to get a video out for Friday. Now, I know that Monday's video for the daily scuttlebutt, it has failed to upload twice. I'm still going to get it to upload. I was doing it again yesterday, and then the, the power went out. My laptop died. So the other, the other video was uploading from my phone, okay? But we'll get it out. All right. Well, the tractor's here, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Remember, thank a veteran at every chance you get, not only on Veterans Day, and we'll see you all on the next one. All right. Bye-bye now.